I have to give credit. You and I have both ripped on Vivek when he's deserved it in the past, but he nailed it this week. It was a very good week for him when Dasha Burns of NBC got after him. Um, first Washington Post came for him, which I'll get to in a second, but this just happened, I think, yesterday, and it's gone viral today. Dasha Burns of NBC tried to turn him into um, a racist or like a, a, a racist adjacent because of his positions on various things. And truly, it was a masterclass in how to handle this nonsense. Here it is in part. Do you believe punctuality is a vestige of white supremacy, Dasha? Look, because if you don't, then you have a disagreement about many of the people who are defining those terms uh, or the written word or the use or the nuclear family. This is I, these aren't my words. These are the words of intellectual proponents from Ibram Kendi to the Ayanna Presley's to BLM that have said these are vestiges look, of white supremacy. So Mr. we Ramos, can't have it both ways. Do, we have to have you an choose, honest you discussion. You straw man arguments. I'm not, Last this is not night, a straw man. You brought, you brought up Jussie man. Smollett as the, oh, the best Jussie example Smollett of white supremacy. was the supremacy. hottest thing in news in the back of a fake yes. actual attack on him that we have to contend with. And, this is and actually, yet, and yet, you have examples the like the Buffalo shooter in New York just in 2022. You have other examples. But you are also cherry picking when you bring up Jussie so I'll look, I'll look at all of the statistics. More black Absolutely. on black crime. If you really care about actual crime against black Americans, let's get to the root causes of it in the inner cities of this look, country. The anti-defamation league tracked a 38% increase in white supremacist propaganda last who's, who's year. Who's tracking that? The anti-defamation league. Yeah, the ADL, I don't think is a particularly credible source. Is right now, I think the media did not hold the police accountable. They would have been demanding that. starting to if gain that was, ground, gain traction that was in the a, black community with Latino and, voters. And, and, do and not worry thing. that your no, rhetoric is pushing them away. There are folks To the contrary. I think we're going to bring black people into this movement. are concerned about your rhetoric. Well, you know what? But I'm concerned about their corruption. Well, the Sebastian is a debate that is being had. If, you can, I, may, you can if I may just finish this, if I may finish my point, deal with racism, I think I will be better you're positioned. you denying that racism is a I've problem. never denied that racism is a problem. We're getting close to the promised land that Martin Luther King envisioned. We're as darn close to it as we ever have been. And so what bothers the heck out of me is it's right when we're close to that promised land. Martin Luther King said it. I may not get there with you, and he didn't get there with us. But I think it desecrates the legacy of our civil rights movement, desecrates the legacy of Martin Luther King, that right when we get closest to the point of having racial equality and gender equality and even opportunities for people of minorities of many types, are we perfect? No. But are we as close as we've ever been? Yes, we have. To then obsess over systemic racism, to then obsess over white guilt and otherwise, we're creating new waves of racism, Dasha, that we otherwise would have avoided right when we're closest to having achieved what even the proponents of the civil rights movement would have dreamed of. Boom. That's how it's done right there. A plus plus. Pretty well done. And uh, like I've said, I don't trust Vivek at all. I, I find him to be extremely untrustworthy and snake oily, but I want to make sure I give him all the credit in the world. He's become a chaos agent, which we need on the right. Uh, someone who's smart enough and charismatic enough to change the conversation and make these people look and feel stupid. And he gets all the credit in the world for that. I will push back on just one thing he said there, but it's not, it's a very minor criticism. We're not as close as we've ever been to some kind of racial harmony. We were as close as we've ever been to some kind of racial harmony, probably in the eighties in this country, maybe even the nineties. And then the communists in this country decided they could use the civil rights thing to really blow the society up. That's what all this is about, Megan. That's what Dasha Burns really wants. She's not a journalist. She's an apparatchik. All this race stuff, the gay stuff, all this stuff, this is all about just blowing the country up. It's all about destruction. If tomorrow every single position of power was occupied by a black person in this country, they wouldn't slow down or back off for even a second because it has nothing to do with black people or gay people or women or whatever it is. Everything's about destruction. When you understand, it's all just about destruction. That's why they want to destroy the nuclear family. That's why they want to cut your kid's penis off. That's why they want the border <laughs> wide open. It's not accidental. They're not misguided. They're not liberal. They're not slightly left. They're not progressives. These are evil, dirty, demonic communists who are out there to destroy everything, and they're being very successful at it at this point in time. What happened in that clip was just, I mean, he saw her coming from a mile away and he's obviously way smarter than she is. She's like, like Dasha Burns, pick somebody else, yeah. try, try someone dumber. Because he's, he, I mean, he's literally written the book on wokeness and what they're trying to do on the left, similar to what you were just saying. And what one of the things that struck me was here she is clearly trying to perform for her leftist base over on NBC. And you can see like the plaintiff 
whining. Oh, what about this? Well, you uh, raised uh, Jesse Smollett. What about, uh, like, what about white supremacy and the and Anti-Defamation League? And it was, it's so nice to hear a politician who's done his homework, who knows that the ADL is a joke of an institution that only ever criticizes people on the right. Go Google what they've said about Tucker Carlson. I mean, they, and by the way, they completely mission strayed from where they originally began. They've started to sound a little bit more like a policing organization for anti-Semitic comments against Jews in the wake of the Israel attack. But really their favorite cause for the past 10 years has just been anything a conservative says, anything a conservative says that's not woke. So good for Vivek for knowing that there's absolutely no stock to be put into this group and shoving it back in her face, her whiny little unprofessional face. Dasha, you embarrassed yourself. I think you got shamed after your John Fetterman interview because you told the truth about what a mess he was in that particular sit down. And ever since you've been trying to make it up to your leftist base to prove you're one of them. Okay, good luck in your future journalism career. The Megyn Kelly Show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that's dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher education. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And according to niche.com, it's ranked a top 25 best campus in the country. As of June, 2023, GCU also offers 270 of its 330 academic programs online, which allows you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your university counselor. They're part of the supportive graduation team that takes a personalized approach to helping you achieve your academic goals, walking alongside you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. For more info or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.